Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another Mystery Tackle Box Elite unboxing episode of the Foul Mouth Fishing Show. Um, I have been having hell of trouble with, uh, with post and mail order stuff. It is ridiculous. But, this was scheduled to arrive yesterday. They scanned in their computer system that it had been delivered. It was never delivered. But I got it today. So, uh, thankfully, you know, it's here. It's not missing. So, this is a Mystery Tackle Box Elite. They have, uh, if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, you've been living in a cave for the past several years. <laughs> it's a mail order subscription for uh, bait and tackle. Um, they have an online store. You can buy a bunch of stuff. If you join their club memberships, you get even bigger discounts. Um, they have three tiers, uh, or three basic tiers, which are your your standard, your pro, and your elite, elite being the top tier. And then they have a series of boxes. Uh, this is your bass box. They have multi-species, they have panfish, they have ice fishing, they have catfish, they have saltwater, you name it, mystery tackle box, and the Shop Carl's site will have you covered. Um, so, without thir fur fur further ado, <laughs> let's uh, crack into this box. Now, uh, we're hoping to have some goodies. This is the December Mystery Tackle Box Elite. And I'm planning to do something, a little something special for Christmas. So I want everybody in this video to do three things throughout this video. So as we go along, I'm going to tell you each of those three things. At the end of the video, I will give you the third thing. Somewhere in the middle of the video, I will give you the second thing. Right now, I'll give you the first thing. So first thing I want you to do is make sure that you are an active subscriber to my channel, that your subscriptions are visible on your channel. So if I go to check and see that you are a subscriber and I can't see that you're a subscriber, you're not going to win what I give away on Christmas. And uh, if you don't know, you can check some of my prior giveaways and you can see that I'm a pretty generous, down-to-earth kind of guy. So you might be actually very happy and pleased with what I'm planning to give. Santa, Santa foul mouth over here. <laughs> uh, breaking into the box, we don't have a card. We have a Xerox printout of my, of my bait supply. So that's kind of different. I guess uh, they ran out of production on the cards. Uh, you know, printing, or what have you, uh, I could care less. As long as I have some sort of reference sheet for what is uh, invoiced in the box, I'm, I'm happy. And as long as it lists my box type, um, in my, my kit, Bass Elite, and the number, as long as that corresponds online with what's in the box, I know I haven't been shifted out of, out of gear. So it looks like I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine items. My lucky number. So, nine items... On, uh, on this month's December edition, we're going to jump right into it, and I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing some, uh, some established names. We've got a Carl's Club membership, save 30% on an earned Carl's credit at Shop Carl's Club, free shipping, memberships perks, little advertisement, Guggen Bates Dragon Drop 4-inch worm, um, piece of information, which is the this month in your box. So this month they're giving me a kind of a, I guess, a, a tryout bait, I suppose. They're, they're pushing a product. Obviously, Scott Martin, one of the reasons I'm, I'm into fishing, his father, uh, Roland Martin, got me, uh, you know, when I was a kid. I was a big follower of him, Bill Dance as well. But uh, Scott Martin and the Guggen Squad uh, worked together in conjunction to push this Guggen Bates, you know, Scott is one of the, uh, the contributing financiers, I guess, or, or at least the, the, uh, the pro faces for the company and public, you know, publicizing it. But they push the Guggen Bates and everybody knows what the Guggen squad was. Uh, so enough with that rendition, but it looks like they're, they're pushing their products in their boxes. The same as we did a few months ago, get the, uh, the free Guggen line, uh, as a test out thing. Again, I was kind of disappointed that that wasn't an add-on. It, like, you know, s literally have a card like this with the Guggen line in it, but not equate that into the actual uh, products in the box. We've got our Dibble Digest pamphlet, a uh, little acronyms thing on the back, some pro tips, and today it's 
rod fishing blanks, so a little information on fiberglass versus graphite rods and how they function, uh, and three ways to fish a chatterbait. So, there's a chatterbait somewhere in here, I would assume, or I'd hope. Starting off, Stigger, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> a little Catchco NASA style bass. A bassa, I guess. Uh, first product on the list, we're going to start at the top for $9.99. It's the Throwback Lures Trailblazer. Throwback Lures Trailblazer. I've seen this in a few other boxes. It's basically a little tiny swim bait. Uh, not the best of swim baits. They make these a dime a dozen as Chinese knockoffs. They're all pretty much easy, hard, hard plastic. It doesn't have like the Mike Buka uh, Shad has the um, the paintbrush style fin on the back. This one has a solid plastic fin, not the paintbrush, but all in all, pretty good. Solid plastic body construction. It's six segments. Decent hooks. They're small hooks, so for this time of year, with the finesse presentation that you're going to want to do for the lethargic, slowed down, cold blooded, cooled down fish, they're going to want to like not chase right now. They're pretty much you're going to have to bump them in the face to get them to bite in my neck of the woods. So uh, this is probably really decent to fish slow. As a six segment, it should have some pretty pretty decent action with a slow retrieve and a little pop every now and again just to get it to kick and then you know swim it slow give it a kick swim it slow give it a pop that seems to work uh, around where I fish next up eight dollars and ninety nine cents the Bagley balsa minnow Bagley I love Bagley what do we got here Bagley Bagley I actually have one of these that I've purchased on my own this one is a 3 16th ounce. It's a 5 to 8 foot um, diving little jerkbait minnow. And as with everything that I like in Bagley's, as far as balsas go, it's balsa. So it's a balsa wood construction, resin over, great color scheme, that, uh, that black on top, silver bottom, and the little orange hint on the chin, and those textbook Bagley eyes. Everybody knows those big dark spot eyes. It's a nice little jerk bait, small lip, decent, and it's got that little cup to the lip. You know, it's not perfectly straight and flat. It's got a little cup in there, which will give it that erratic back and forth swim as you're jerking it. It's going to dart left, dart right, and basically belly roll just ever so slightly. So that's definitely a fish, ca uh, fish catcher. Um, looking forward to throwing that again. Small profile. Winter cold water fish. This is also pretty good coming out of the out of the winter uh, into the spring when the water's coming up. You know, still cold, but they're starting to come back to their uh, to their haunts. Uh, next is going to be a Vexen Verns Stone Roller. Vexen Vexen Verns Stone Roller. This is another jerk or another lipless crank, I should say. Um, thumper color is what this one is. It is. Half ounce to 10 foot depth. It's a pretty decent pattern. Blue, blue green, or I should say blue olive avocado maybe color. Orange on the on the little chin there. As always, big wide bill, and it's got that that sharp angles on this side, but then it rolls under. So that definitely is going to displace a lot of water and, and give you that, that nose down dive and that good tail shutter because the water is going to flow off the edges and reduce the, the drag here, but that tail is going to want to tip this, this wider bill on the front. It's going to tip that tail up and give you that flutter as it's going through the water. So uh, that's a really good, uh, a good bait presentation right there. Again, a smaller bait. It's got a little knocker in it. Nice little single thud, uh, which is always good. I think with these, uh, the Vexens, I think they have basically a channel in the center with one large BB, one large marble in the middle that gives it that nice one, th uh, one thump. Um, so yeah, that's I'm pleased with that. That's decent, and that's $7.99. Uh, 
talking about the Guggen Squad. So the Guggen Squad's Grand Banger. So here's another crankbait. This is a smaller lipped crankbait. Uh, we got, obviously, it's Ketchco produces them for them. Or I shouldn't say Ketchco produces them, but they're made out of country. Ketchco is the, uh, you know, the, the design engineer in production, and then they sell them under the Guggen Squad brand. Depth of three to seven foot. So this is right in my ballpark of my fishing holes. Uh, length is three inches. Weight is three quarters of an ounce. Made in China. Yeah, the Guggen Squad. Made in China. I'm not a big fan of the Guggen Squad. I'm not a detractor from the Guggen Squad. Uh, I am one of those people that personally think, for the most part, bait designs are all the same. It really comes down to manufacturing processes and product, um, you know, materials that make the difference as to what brands that I tend to fish over others. Um, like with fishing line, my big thing with fishing line, especially braid, with braid, it's how many carriers are in the braid. The more carriers, the smoother it's going to go through my guide, so I tend to go for a little bit higher price with a higher carrier count, rather than saving money and having more break-offs, because a lower carrier count is more rough, and it tends to chafe a little bit more. Um, so I just, you know, there's, there's times when you spend a little extra money because you like the, the production value over the cost where saving money, although I've caught many, many, many fish on very cheap, cheap baits. Um, but to each their own. This is the Guggen Squad bait. Like all modern bait companies, they're putting their logos in the eyes. You got the Guggen Squad double G, or GS, I should say. Um, kind of fish hook emblem in the eye there with the almond-shaped eyes. A uh, little spot basic, you know. I, I do like the three to seven on the bottom, so you can quickly reference this and know this is a three to seven foot diver, um, as opposed to some that are just, you know, unmarked. Um, I really, really like them to emboss that in the plastic bill. I've always said that, you know, these fish, they, they chew the crap out of your baits and paint, no matter what the, the brand is. Over time, you look at antique baits, and modern baits, especially modern baits, because they're not produced as well as the antique ones. But the paint chips, rattles around in your boat locker, rattles around in your in your tackle bag, tackle box, gets bit up by the fish themselves, and gets ground on rocks and chipped off of things. If they were to actually emboss it on the bill, three to seven foot, quarter ounce or whatever, in this case, uh, I forgot already what it was. Was it quarter ounce? Uh, three quarter ounce, I'm sorry. Um, you know, just... Put your three to seven, three quarters ounce on actually stamped in the plastic. Just, you know, eat, especially if, if it's on the back side of the plastic, it's not going to deter from the smoothness and the water displacement. Or if it's laminated inside, so it's discolored, a little white, you know, like a like, uh, milk, milky color or, or, uh, or what have you, interior between the, the layers of glass that you could actually see that, uh, that rating. Um, just by the slight little difference between the crystal clear and a slight, you know, milk color. Um, I think that would that would help. I wish bait companies would do that. All bait companies, in fact. Um, you know, be it Lexan polycarbonate or just your standard, you know, plastic, uh, you know, acrylic plastic bills. They, I don't see why it would be such a hard thing in production to do that. You stamp out a thousand bills with the weights and then those are the ones that go on that particular bait. doesn't have to be that, you know, it can use on any bait but uh, with, that, with that diving profile. All right, so that Guggen Squad Grand Banger is also $7.99. Next is the Smithwick Rattle and Rogue. Smithwick's baits I've used before. I do like these. These are like, to me, these are really nostalgic style uh, body profiles. Um, this one is three and a half inches long. It's a quarter ounce. Floats from zero to one foot. It's a, so it's a shadow floater. Uh, it casts. Uh, troll it. You can ta cast it and retrieve it slow for the zero to one foot, or you can troll it from one to four foot. So if you keep the constant draw on the back of your boat, you can troll this down to four foot. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the package, but uh, there it is. There it's got your little perch stripes down the side. Um, it's got like an again that green olive blue hue in in these baits, but it's got like a pink a pink color to the cheek and to the tail. So that's pretty different. Normally you're going to see chartreuse, you're going to see a much more bold red or that orange color seems to be, you know, a modern thing. This has got 
like almost a lipstick pink, a little more like a, a rose color uh, to it. Rattle and Rogue, definitely got rattles in there, a bunch of little BBs, a nice small bill. I've got I've got a dozen baits just like this with this profile and that bill set up. Um, because I do like my top water, and when the top water, when they're not coming perf like completely out of the water to grab stuff off the surface, this just below the surface bait fishing is is killer. It's killer. It, it in fact, you can spark up top water bites if you do, uh, you know, a zero to two foot diving bait, and you you can bring them. Up. They'll see it. You keep you know repetitively casting out, pull, cast, and pull, and you can bring some fish up out of cover, and they might come up, and then they might dip, dip down, and then you throw out your frog or throw out uh, a top water, you know, or buzz a buzz bait on the surface, and then they'll come up and and hammer that uh, as you've got them into that frenzy. Smith Wicks again was that that bait goes for seven dollars and forty nine cents. So all in all, I'm I'm basically averaging about a seven dollar eight dollar per bait. So that's not too bad. I don't mind that. Uh, next we got a Catch Co. Um, although you could say the Guggen Squad was also a Catch Co. bait, but this is a definite Catch Co. brand. 10,000 fish. And these are infused scent and salt. Um, this is their their um, their fish craw or fish saw craw. Um, inspired by a lot of the Oriental, the Asian um, uh, JDM bait designs. So this is a seven pack, full pack, four inch black and blue uh, craw, soft bait craws. Now the cool thing about these, what I like with this style of craw, love the clamshells. A lot of people are complaining, I don't like clamshells, I want a soft bag so I can squish it down in my tackle box and get them all crushed and deformed. But uh, I'll stick with, I mean I don't mind clamshells. Um, I do like these. Again, this is another one of those bait companies in, uh, in 10,000 Fish that do the I-beam construction flange on the claw. So the flat blade of the claw, and then you have this little uh, I-beam style coming off the, that widens out, and that displaces so much water and kicks so, so vigorously. Now, the cool thing about these, about baits that are designed like this, and there's many brands, the individual segments allot you the ability to snap off a piece, run a different, a smaller sized hook. Another piece, use it on a buzzbait trailer, use it on, um, you know, Texas rig it. Snap off all the pieces and just use the head and fish this on a jig head, as a jig head trailer. Um, there, you know, there's a million ways to fish these when they're individually segmented. And I'd love to see a company that comes out with like a nice five inch or seven like a worm i mean i have heard of some but i've never actually had the opportunity to fish them but it's basically the claw rear end and maybe at eight or nine segments really long like a mondo worm for the guggen squads <laughs> style with a claw tail um that that i think would be great because then you have a bait that you can snap off the claw end and have you know a good five inch worm senko style or keep segments and run it for, you know, a size, you know, a five aught hook or something, or run it down for just a chunk trailer uh, on a jig head. It gives you the ability to actually make a bait into five or six different presentations from finesse to power fishing and saving money, because this way you're turning these six baits or seven baits can end up being in, in retro, you know, in the end, more like 12 or 13 different bait presentations. So that's something uh, that I, I like. I would like to see more of. Maybe maybe 10,000 fish will do that sometime. Maybe they'll come out with like a four pack of this, but they're extended maybe six or eight uh, segments rather than the three segments. Um, AMTB, I'll, I'll take a small royalty, one penny per pack sold. See, I'm not a, I'm not a greedy Muslim. <laughs> but if you build that, it's my idea. Patent pending, uh, the trademark, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now, nah, seriously. Uh, next is another Guggen bait. So we're Guggen heavy this, this month. Um, oh, the 10,000 Fishes Craw is $5.99. Next, also for $5.99, is the Guggen's Baits Dragon Drop. Uh, the Dragon Drops, I've seen. I've never fished them. I'm not a big, again, fan of the Guggen Baits, but this is basically their, this is their smaller one. 
It's a nine pack. They call this murky minnow. So basically, it's clear plastisol with some some uh, like a silver plastisol on the belly, but it's just basically blue and black flake in on the inside. Um, they call it their their what do you mean? murky murky minnow. Um, it's a finesse worm, you know, for drop shotting. Um, because of the design. It does have, I believe this also has a hollow. No, it doesn't. It's solid all the way through. So the tail end, this little thing is not buttressed hollow. It's it's solid plastisol. But nevertheless, they do catch fish. They do have that anise, anisette, uh, licorice smell to them. Um, you get a decent number here with a nine pack. That's one thing I have to say that Guggen Squad and Catch Co. have done right is their their packages are large quantity. You're getting a value there. Although I still find Guggen baits when you go out to the store to buy them to be overpriced by a buck twenty-five or so, depending on the bait that you're you're looking to to pick up. Um, again, five ninety-nine. I would think this is more like a four ninety-nine uh, or four seventy-five kind of bait. But that's just me. I'm I'm kind of chintzy on stuff. <laughs> that uh, next one. Our next to last is going to be a Lunker Hunt Game Fish Darter Jig. So here's a jig. It's a heavy jig. I was going to say I'd probably shoot those uh, those chunk trailers to crawls on something like this. But this is a half ounce jig. So I'd fish this on a paddle tail or something like that. Um, something a little bit more sturdy and hefty. These are pretty, pretty beefy jig heads. Uh-huh. And this is where I drop them in the carpet, and later on at Christmas I come down to get my presents and get a hook in my toe. That's a nice design. It's an interesting little billeted front head. It's got a uh, flat nose. Not the best of paint jobs. It kind of looks like they used some spray paint and spray painted fake chrome on it, because it's kind of like chippy. <laughs> nice little eye. I do like the 90 degree to the head uh, tie because that's going to draw and tip whatever your, your soft plastic is going to be tipped up, which is going to, uh, to increase the idea of that, that fishing, the bait fish, uh, you know, bottom feeding kind of, uh, uh, what's the word, presentation profile, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's got a very interesting uh, plastics keeper with this kind of z almost Z-shaped hooked barb on the bottom and your standard... Uh, you know, 45 barb on the top, but it's doubled up there. I, I do kind of like that. I wonder how much little plastic will get caught in that little knock, the little notch between the head of the uh, the jig head and that little hook keeper. Um, it's a pretty darn sharp, sharp hook. So if it hooks into your nail, it's got to be a pretty sharp hook, right? So it's hanging from my nail, so pretty darn sharp. Um, it's not bad. You get three six of these so you get a good quantity that's also definitely uh, you know welcome that you get a good quantity of them it's not like a one or two or three pack and Lunker Hunt obviously I'm gonna say overall although the paint on this seems a bit like cheap and chintzy uh, I know that at least the manufacturing process I have good faith in Lunker Hunt products that it's going to uh, to last they call this chrome chrome silver yeah, it's fake chrome spray paint, basically. It's almost It almost looks like a die-cast matchbox car, um, nevertheless. And that one was $4.79, so that's a really good value considering you're getting six of the jig heads. And I never stray away from jig heads. Last but not least is the Booyah's Swimming Jig. So this is a... I saw this on, um, on Bee Fishing. Uh, I'm very happy to get it because it's something that I definitely like. I love the design of this jig head of the on the swim jig. Um, I like the arrowhead style that they that they have to this. It it cuts water, it cuts the surface tension, and it cuts water um, very different than 90% of the jig heads, uh, swim jig heads that I do fish, skirted ones specifically, and it's flat bellied, so you have this profile almost like a like an airplane you know hot you know or hydrofoil style winglets on the sides and then it's flat bottom so as it sits down it settles 
and then obviously when you take off it'll lift and uh, the, these two it just displaces water in a very unique way compared to a lot of your standard um, standard uh, swim jigs and I love flat profile swim jigs for skipping so I have a lot of the circular disc style lead swim jigs uh, or and not so many tungsten mostly the lead ones that are round and this one I think even though it's a triangle and has edges that might catch in barrel roll, I think this will skip very well as well, also. It comes with a little rattle thing. I'm not a big fan of these rattle, uh, little rattle cartridges on jigs. Uh, I don't know. And, it, and it's in a precarious point, or precarious spot. It's right below the weed guard, and it's right above where your soft plastic's going to go. And that, to me, right there becomes a problem where when the fish comes down, they have this in their mouth, and it's kind of cumbersome along the hook point. So, me personally, I'm more apt to take that that off. Or, at the very least, rotate this rubber grommet and put that rattle underneath. So, it's kind of like, you know, my own... It's not personalization, it's just me finagling the, uh, the location. So, relocating the, the rattle underneath exposes that hook... It's going to be ahead of your soft plastic that's going to push in and hold it down. And you're still going to get that rattling effect, as you can hear. Um, black with a lot of silver flake. This is definitely a good murky, muddy water, winter water color combo. I've always found in my region that during the winter months, uh, when, the, when the water's freezing, icy cold, the water is crystal clear. Uh, come spring, come fall... Uh, and the heat of summer, the dead of summer, my waters get uh, get salted up, get milk, not salted up, but get soiled and, and mucked up and murky. During the winter, they all clear out. Um, Thermocline changes, obviously, in deep water lakes. Um, so you, you see that, that kind of difference in low light when you're fishing down deep. Uh, it, it, it'll clean, to me, my own personal opinion, it just cleans up. All that sediment and stuff, it's almost like the... the chill of the water is like a barometric pressure kind of thing it just holds all that silt and stuff down uh even after a rain it doesn't seem to churn it nearly as much maybe that's just me maybe it's uh you know some uh you know psychotic thing that i just believe but me personally that's what i found um so i don't really fish a lot of dark colors as much during the cold winter time as i do during the summer so i think uh i'll probably won't see much action of this come until come spring. Nevertheless, that one is three dollars and ninety nine cents, and that I think is good bang for your buck, because I would have sold something like this more in the five, four, five dollar range. All in all, nine decent products, pretty decent, uh, decent box, and I really don't care that they didn't have an actual bait card. They just gave me a printout. I know some unboxers cry about a piece of paper. As long as I have a reference sheet that I can go by, I'm happy. I'd rather see a piece of paper than nothing at all. All that being said, I'm very pleased that I got my box. It's not missing anything, at least to the best of my knowledge. So, uh, I'll give this a uh, 6 out of 10. So now you've become a subscriber, you've liked my channel, right? That's number 3. Now I said something in this video and what I want you to do is, I said what my lucky number was, under my breath. So the three things you have to do, you have to be an active subscriber that's, that I can see that you're a subscriber. You have to like this video and share it along your, um, among your social media. And you're going to have to, in the comments below, tell me what my lucky number was. Just wondering. So, because uh, I did hint that in there. I'll give you another hint. It has something to do with, with, with this, okay? Anyway, <laughs> uh, I hope this was enjoyable. I kept it 30 minutes, see? I'm, I'm trying. It's not 35 or 40, but I kept it under 30 minutes by a couple of seconds. Uh, I hope this was enjoyable. I'm sorry I couldn't get this to you yesterday, um, but, you know, obviously the postman had control over me. Uh, this is Foul Mouth Fishing. God bless. Take care. Tight lines. Catch you on the next cast.